in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed in your spirit hallelujah father tonight in the name of jesus we pray that your power your light your grace will prevail over us we pray that your word will dispel every darkness let there be such a demonstration of the power of light over darkness i pray oh god that age-long captivities will come on their knees tonight open us to the mysteries of the spirit let there be a performance in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. Let me just make one or two announcements and then we'll go into the word of God. Tonight's word will come with fire. Fire. Every time, most times when the Lord wants to reveal to me how the meeting will B, he will use one of the emblems of the supernatural to signify what he's doing and while I prayed I saw fire that's what I saw fire is one of the elements of the supernatural they are the ve there are five elements that God manifests himself with there is the earth there is light there is water and so I know that God is doing great things tonight and we bless God for the worship team and that which they did tonight please take it here for me we started a series last week examining the subject of deliverance and um, I must confess to you that there's so much to teach especially when you dapple into this subject and um, my focus please let me have your attention my focus is not necessarily to give us a thorough exegesis on the subject of demonology but I'm limiting the context of my teaching in this series just to the aspects of deliverance there's something that I want us to understand about the nature and the character of deliverance are we together so I have edited a number of things and um, we may not go into certain very deep details like the origin of Satan the pre-Adamites the Nephilims sons of Belial and all of these other things that help to extensively talk about the kingdom of darkness I hope that in another series we'll get to it but um, I just want to show us um, the the deliverance dimension that's that's just where I want us to focus on and then to help us understand and appreciate a few things let us also take note that the motif behind this series is to help to create intelligence in the area of deliverance i think that um, there is a lot of gap in knowledge which stems from ignorance or exaggeration and so we're hoping to create a system of balance many in an attempt to scorn at the subject have become victims of what only this subject can set them free from and like the dear lady shared when she was here and then others um, in an attempt to focus on it have pushed it beyond its boundary of relevance and their whole lives regardless of supposed deliverance does not show anything around the victory of Christ so there is always a need to put everything in context are we good tonight hold hands while you're seated and let's just pray in the spirit to open up our capacity for spiritual understanding. Shabla Kato Sikete Baladosi. 
we pray in the spirit so that our spirits will be alive and our minds will be receptive to the truths of God's word let the scroll be opened let the mysteries be unveiled hallelujah praise the lord tonight we are going to be looking at the subject of deliverance and then i will be sharing with you we started last week i'm just giving you the course content for tonight's discussion we'll be looking at the subject of deliverance and then we'll also revisit again what i call access points helping you to understand the gateways that authorize darkness please listen you are listening for yourself you are listening for your families and for those following online regardless of what your perspectives are about the subject of deliverance give me a chance to bring you the word of god and let's look at it together uh, as always we are allowed to vet the quality of whatever is being communicated and to receive that which we believe is right but it's important to at least give a chance there are people once they hear they leave they don't even wait they just close their hearts and um, it's, it's going to be a dangerous experience if you just shut your heart at any dimension and any matter of the kingdom because jesus himself addressed this subject so let's give ourselves a chance to be built by the word of god i will be teaching on levels of satanic influence that will be the third discussion as god grants us grace i'll do my best to see that we end on time so that we can rest we have a lot already tomorrow levels of satanic influence or satanic activities would we'll look at it and then if god grants us grace and the time we're able to manage time well we will look at the flesh praise the lord obadiah chapter one there's just one chapter and verse 17 let's begin our teaching for tonight obadiah one and verse 17 but upon mount zion shall be deliverance it's amazing where deliverance was meant to happen it was not meant to happen outside then if delivered you come to mount zion the fact that you experience deliverance is proof that you are standing upon mount zion are we together so this already tries to settle a very wrong notion that deliverance and etc should happen outside of the church outside of where god is then when you are delivered you now come god's system has always been come as you are and then you are made into what he wants you to be so upon mount zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of jacob shall possess their possessions we began last week by saying that there is a relationship between the mystery and the ministry of deliverance and obtaining your possession notice from this scripture the bible says it is their possession so it is not a possession that is someone else's and then it will be given to you it is your possession it is your inheritance are we together so there is no doubt to the fact that it is a it is it is allotted already for you but in order to possess it although it is your possession being your possession is one thing becoming a possessor of your possession is another thing are we together so um this is a very good platform to begin tonight's teaching the bible says the house of jacob shall possess their possession that means it is possible that they do not possess their possession 
it is your possession it is your inheritance but to come into the experience of that possession the bible says there is something that happens and that's what we are discussing what is deliverance let's discuss that subject what exactly is deliverance the bible is full of texts that talk about deliverance from the old testament the gospels the epistles and even in the book of revelation so what exactly is deliverance um let me give us a foundation and then i will give you my definition now the first thing i want you to know about deliverance please look up before you write is that um generally deliverance has to do with a system of rescue a system of freedom from maybe bondage danger i'm giving you the overall scope every time we mention the word deliverance it has to do with a system that provides rescue a system that provides freedom from bondage from danger and generally speaking from evil every time we talk about deliverance it has to do with rescue it has to do with emancipation it has to do with freedom from any of these three bondage danger and then generally speaking evil are we together let's look at two scriptures exodus chapter 6 and verse 6 exodus chapter 6 and verse 6 i hope i'm right it says wherefore say unto the children of israel i am the lord and i will bring you out the word bring you out there is the word deliverance i will deliver you from under the burdens of the egyptians and i will read you out of their bondage and i will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments so we see different expressions here that relates to deliverance the lord is saying i will bring you out from their burdens i will read you out of their bondage i will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgment why this is because of what happened in chapter 1 and verse 11 let's go to chapter 1 and 11 same exodus chapter 1 and verse 11 it says therefore they did set over them taskmasters listen carefully the purpose of the deliverance in chapter 6 is because of a situation that we find in chapter 1 that therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens and they built for pharaoh treasure cities python and rameses all of the gods of egypt so they were they were subject to a system of labor a system of bondage and a burden what was the assignment to build cities for other gods are we together they were mandated as an act of affliction to build treasure cities where they kept the 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 booties that they had gotten from war and from oppressing neighboring nations and then to also build different tabernacles places of rest for all their gods and their idols and the lord said that i will bring you deliverance so before there is need for deliverance there must have been a system of bondage are we together that subjects men that subjects territories that subjects both animate and inanimate things to some sort of danger some sort of oppression and so on and so forth are we together let's look at colossians chapter one paul is teaching the church in Colossae. colossians chapter one verse 13 and 14 then i would like to teach something very briefly here before we move on it says who hath delivered us talking about jesus now who hath delivered us from the power of darkness everybody say power of darkness notice the bible didn't just say he delivered us from darkness he delivered us from the power of darkness that means darkness is powerful darkness is a force it is very unwise to believe that um, all of these spiritual forces are not powerful 
we only say they are powerless relative to the superiority of God's intelligence and the power that is now in motion through the Christ are we together when you are contrasting darkness relative to the excellency of God's power his all surpassing victory then it is valid to consider Satan and all his cohorts as powerless but relative to the spiritual advantage the plane from which these spirits operate it is very childish and immature to believe that they do not wield any kind of power and force on their own even a normal human being who can access the realm of the spirit any dimension higher than the three-dimensional realm has an advantage over one who does not sustain that uh, that ability are we together now i have taught you that any dimension you can access outside of the three-dimensional realm will provide you an advantage over the natural person scientists would tell us that even lower animals that we call lower have the ability to perceive danger and perceive reality that the normal man who is unrefined are we together cannot perceive is that true we see dogs we see animals respond to people some of them have very superior sense organs these are beings that are not empowered by any kind of spirit whatsoever yet they wield an advantage so it is it is i'm, I'm just buttressing on this to help us understand because you see one of the greatest challenges with the body of christ is we just copy everything we know we never take out time to allow the spirit of revelation to break down the truths that have been passed down from generation to generation just because we read it in a book and a senior man of god advocated it or certain people that represent pillars to the body most of them had the understanding but most of us just receive it as head knowledge and we teach it in bible schools so most believers just have the chaff of that knowledge there is no substance that backs up their conviction are we together so darkness is powerful paul is not ashamed to tell us in fact here's how jesus said it he said behold i give you power are we together that's luke 10 19 can we just run there and then return back to Colossians? Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. Behold, I give you power. Listen, the word power there is not the Greek word dunamis. It's the word exousia. It's the word authority, right? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an authorization to legislate rather than the ability to by yourself cause change. Are we together? Behold, I give you exousia, authority to tread upon serpents, and upon scorpions and over how many all the power jesus himself is acknowledging that the enemy has power but that he has given you an ability to manifest and legislate above that power and then he says nothing shall by any means hurt you the only reason why nothing shall hurt you is because you are operating from a dimension that is higher than the existing that means if something is hurting you it means you are not accessing and working with that power or you do not have knowledge on how to put it to work are we together now god bless you so back to colossians chapter 1 and verse 13 i hope we are together who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and then the bible says hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son 14 in whom we have redemption through the blood even the forgiveness of sins so he's telling us the basis for that translation that the the possibility to be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son has happened on the basis of redemption and that by the blood are we together now so salvation is a form of deliverance the salvation that has been given believers today that we enjoy the bible does not just call it redemption alone the bible calls it deliverance what then is deliverance write this down i did my best to scrabble an intelligent definition that will capture everything that i believe the word of god 
um, says about deliverance. So let's, let's try and see if my definition makes sense. Ready? Deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and the authority of Christ or Jesus Christ. Don't worry, take it gradually. I will repeat myself. Deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and the authority of Jesus Christ. I'm going to continue. I'm just breaking so that you write. Let's take it again. Deliverance is a system for experientially, underline the word experientially, establishing the victory and authority of Jesus Christ. Can I continue? Over Satan, comma, demons, and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives. A system for experientially establishing the victory and authority of Jesus Christ over Satan, demons, and all the powers of darkness. Over Satan, demons, and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives. By this definition, we see that deliverance for a believer and the scriptural approach to deliverance is much more than the activity of physical exertion like a present day fight deliverance is concerned with establishing making a reality that has been finished to become your experience here and now are we together so that deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and authority of Christ Jesus over Satan, demons, and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives. I wrote something small here that deliverance um, and then by extension spiritual warfare for the believer in Christ today is about establishing and manifesting victory rather than fighting for it. Listen carefully. Our approach to the subject of deliverance and spiritual warfare has to do with establishing and manifesting victory rather than fighting to create it. It's important that you have this understanding. And this revelation alone will make all the difference in your approach to the subject of deliverance and the subject of spiritual warfare that you and I should approach the subject of deliverance from a perspective that seeks to establish and manifest the victory that is already wrought through the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ rather than an attempt to physically exert energy to fight and win as though it was a product of your own exertion. I think this is this in itself. I can dwell all night explaining this because this may be the reason why many, many well-meaning individuals and by extension deliverance ministries get little or no victory out of the the abundance of the physical exertions many of us here may be victims of that experience so we're not talking about a state here where you fight for victory in terms of physically confronting satan one on one as it were i will tell you where that revelation came from are we blessed so say after me deliverance for the believer has to do with establishing and manifesting authority over darkness rather than fighting for it are you getting the point now let me dramatize something here please come doctor come watch this you stand here and um, hold my book this is your inheritance this is your possession please look up i want to dramatize something that will help us you stand here and then ah they are all ladies where are the gentlemen sam come 
now watch this the bible says and you have to understand this is where i think many people find confusion when the bible when the bible speaks look at this very carefully god speaks from the standpoint of eternity he does not speak as if he's talking within the frame of time are we together so in the speakings of god he always speaks with the expression of completion which is not a lie but then the dynamics of converting the prophetic realities that have been finished in christ to now become the experience of the saints is where there is confusion are we together so the bible tells us from the foundation of the earth the lamb was slain but there are still people going to hell today are we together if the lord is to talk to you now if you were to see jesus jesus will look at you and tell you you should not be crying financially because you are walking in abundance that's how he talks but then you will think that he's being rude and sarcastic to you because at the point he's talking to you you may not even have five naira he cannot speak otherwise his his viewpoint spans he's not dimensional in his approach if he breaks himself to be dimensional it's an act of his mercy to help man understand him are we together that's why he's called alpha omega the word and there was just an expression to help us comprehend he is both the beginning and the end so to him there is nothing like beginning and end in his dimension that does not exist are you getting my point now so god can speak to you and say emeka finish the house by tomorrow whereas you don't even have land that's god speaking emeka finish the house by tomorrow and as at the time he's talking your landlord is waiting with a policeman in front of you and god will never talk about the landlord emeka i have given you your house and your key you will even see it in a vision god giving you key and you say thank you and then wake up from the vision with a, a rude knock from the door by an angry landlord now how do i reconcile what i have seen because god will not change he speaks once it is only you that hears twice the first hearing is the hearing of the flesh the second hearing is now the hearing of the spirit that brings understanding once have i spoken but you need to hear twice because the first hearing is from a carnal point but then the holy spirit now helps you to have the ear that the bible says he that hath an ear the second kind of ear you now hear from the spirit the hearing that brings understanding that's why the bible says faith comes by hearing but there is a superior hearing hearing now not just by your senses by the word of god are you understanding what i'm teaching you now so this guy is now confused and he's saying in the realm of the spirit the lord spoke to me and said i have given you abundance yet nothing is happening and then the lord appears to you and you are trying to say oh lord look at all the demons and the witches and then the lord tells you something like my grace is sufficient or my victory is still in force and you wake up and you are like oh god how can you be speaking like this whereas in experience that's what paul was trying to teach the church in hebrew he was quoting from psalm 5 what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him the bible says you have made him lower than elohim are we together you have crowned him with glory and honor you have set him above the works of your hands and that in doing that you did not leave anything under his feet but he creates a dimension he said but as it is today we do not yet see experience so you must be able to balance between the prophetic communications of the spirit the prophetic communications of the word and the experiential manifestation of the same in your life otherwise you will die like a chicken quoting the word of god between the prophetic speakings of god and the manifestation in your life there is a mystery that connects them and those who have this are the ones who become possessors it is your possession in christ but it takes an understanding of what to do to make it your possession here forever oh lord thy word is settled where it never said in your life thy word is settled in heaven 
it will take engaging these mysteries to make the word settled in your life ah your help has come this this is already a deliverance for someone because for many years you kept jumping oh my god i see victory jesus said it is finished everything is all right wonderful amazing my life is full of beauty and glory you are not lying but after 10 years 15 years your father said this thing and while he was saying it sickness was eating him up till he died I, I don't want you to feel bad i'm not trying to be sarcastic are we together you said this yourself and after 10 years there's nothing in your life that demonstrates the victory of christ and some out of that frustration will just say this is a lie no it's not a lie forever your word is settled but to know how to make it our experience one of the mysteries that have been allocated by the wisdom of god to make spiritual realities that are established in the christ to manifest in our life is called the mystery of deliverance are you getting the point now it is not the only kingdom mystery i've taught you many of them we are approaching one of them now this gentleman wants to possess his possession this is a son of jacob he's read obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17 he's believed are we together now because the bible says whoever believes our reports the arm of the lord will be made manifest in his life now this brother believes but every time standing between him and that inheritance just turn to face me sam is an obstacle this brother has read in the bible that we have been translated colossians 1 13. it didn't say we will be the bible says we have been but he's seen something that is is a cause in his life watch this this guy knows the word of god i hope you understand that he has believed he's a worker in church and he has seen that every time people get to the edge the edge of breakthrough something happens now he said in the name of jesus i don't believe this i am exempted and to his shock regardless of that confession his life is still a victim of it that thing happens as if the thing didn't hear him are you getting what i'm saying now please listen very carefully okay this guy comes from a family where everybody is barren i'm sorry sorry for this are we together everyone is barren and now he makes up his mind no it is god that makes everyone a fruitful i mean he can make the wilderness to be fruitful you know children are a heritage from the lord now he has confessed that he has done that well and it is true but in experience now he gets married and to his shock he finds out that his wife cannot get pregnant and he says no the devil is just joking let me just release my faith and you watch what happens one month becomes one year becomes two years becomes decades becomes 20 years and the man is angry by 75 and he's no longer believing in jesus and when you come to him as a zealous young man what giant from koinonia man of god since i was blind say if you don't get out of here i will slap you i spent 60 years forcing the word to work my conclusion is that god alongside all the scammers called preachers are liars some of us that person i just described may be your father may be your mother they will show you pictures of them and reinhard bonke when he was young and tell you i and tear it in your presence and say i don't believe all that junk again the frustration that comes you come from a family that is full of poverty and goodness you found the truth and you are happy you are rejoicing over it and all of a sudden you find out that you are now a graduate and your elder sisters are looking at you and say we graduated 15 years ago none of us the highest among us just got a contract job for one week and it was over and you come and say it's because you know how arrogant we are young people when we are just touching revelation we mock at others and laugh and say oh sisters it's because of the church you are going to me i'm going to koinonia wait and see what happens then you are a graduate and you celebrate the first christmas as a graduate with no job it touches you and you pretend i don't know i think god is working something powerful after you dance and sing and do what you know to do by five years you now sit with them in a discussion and you're like ah, ah. so this this thing is true this is why my mother was not happy this is why my father was not happy 
this series is saving you many of you many of you are already going through what i'm saying now and if you don't open your eyes and your ears to listen to the way out you will be very frustrated how about men of god like our sister shared who come from terrible families with idol worship and then they get born again filled with the holy spirit and begin to walk in strange miracles and start a ministry and say oh god god forbid i mean i used to be from a family of idol worship now i'm free and the guy begins his ministry after five years he finds out that the members go down everything goes down an attack comes on him and the ministry and he goes to tell his uncle and the uncle laughs and say why do you think i stopped being a pastor because i was once a pastor were you told he said no so well let me educate you i was once a pastor the crusade that happened in this city i was the chairman organizing committee the same thing that happened you would try to argue and say uncle my own is not like your own he said you he says it's the same thing it's there And then many of you now just like I was stand and you are confused you say no no let me go back to the Bible and you still see it there and have translated us from the kingdom of darkness and have translated us not will translate and have translated us many of you rush and come to us men of God and say sir I read here and have translated me I believed everything you said why is my life like this listen to what we tell you you don't have faith or you really don't believe it i if you be, look at me i'm rich i'm entering a jeep so he said i'm okay money can deceive to think just because you have a jeep and you have a nice watch you are free no there are many other dimensions you don't have to be delivered to be rich there are many people under yokes of darkness that are millionaires so be careful lest you use money the reason is because money has a very funny way of making your needs met so it can lie to you to think just because you don't see any obvious need yet you are free we have used money for a long time in the body to mean that i am free and say what's the proof look at my estate look at five cars look at a flourishing church does that look like someone under oppression my helpers reading volumes of books i went to almost every bookstore i could find and gathered books i read books to prepare myself on fire i was seeing the power of god move through my life i was having encounters and then to my greatest shock in the midst of that spiritual height demons come to me regardless i mean i started quoting scriptures from secondary school you would receive awards there were 52 scriptures if you could quote they would give you an award i don't know how many times i got that award and you would think how then should i hide the word in my heart to quote 52 scriptures every year new ones i'm not talking of old ones i could quote chapters of the bible and here comes demons into my room and i'm shouting in jesus name the blood of jesus and they are not moving i'm saying in the name of jesus i'm a child of god and they are not moving <sighs> who will i tell this who will believe me god are you have you suddenly become weak listen when you see me just stand to talk and demons are crying find out what happened i want to show you where the problem is these demons will press my neck the anointing didn't leave me the anointing is still there the same way elisha died of sickness with the healing anointing still in his bones why didn't the anointing work while he was deteriorating to death 
yet the anointing raised a dead body who didn't have faith the dead body was not begging please raise me just it came in contact with bones couldn't the anointing bring back flesh like ezekiel 37 because we know it's a possibility so why didn't the anointing bring back the prophet again there are mysteries in this kingdom what you do not know you can argue to your detriment it will smash you into pieces like it's happening to many people we are just not honest to confront truth until we find light for me i i pray that god will make you like me i don't hear yes sir i keep searching until the truth is found many of you you see when the holy spirit refuses to allow an answer satisfy you is because there is a grace in that area he wants you to reveal to the body so you come to a man of god you come to me or anybody and we just give you explanations uh, to manage our ego and the holy spirit to say no no with all honor that's not the answer he's telling you find out so that you can help someone if i didn't pass through what i pass through now i probably will wave this teaching like many are waving and say look let's just focus on jesus and you are focusing on jesus but you are seeing that something is wrong everything the word of god declares is true it is the system for accessing it we do not know and what we have been taught is not wrong but is largely incomplete this series is to give you the balance you hear testimonies of people already look at the pastors with their churches look at the gentlemen that came someone from us just gets up another person just sends 4.5 you think the person doesn't have relatives in need doesn't he have brothers and sisters who are looking for thirty thousand? And he can't help them and then come somewhere i told you you're what? Ah, okay, God, okay, God. just follow me by now this brother is frustrated oh god give me my possession and he comes and he says man of god i'm still waiting and i said don't worry abraham waited 25 years what what are you complaining about there is more boy come on just be paid and i start getting angry you are getting rude you are challenging my anointing my anointing is angry with you i will curse you you see that and the brother leaves me quietly and goes back and he knows something is wrong i'm not being sarcastic i love the body listen carefully there must be an answer to this that answer is what will bring about the experience of possessing your possession that even even the critic in your life will know that the hand of god this brother has caught this this sister has caught this i prayed to god eh? and i told god i said by the time lord we finish this series let us hear of testimonies that people will stand up and say no this is this is if not because the person sharing it is there we will think it's a lie or stage manage i told you last week you can know that deliverance has happened to a person and a family by the speed that's when you know that those realities have been piled up in the spirit for many years and it's usually an avalanche overnight doors liftings all kinds of things happen do you believe that a woman who should have had six children and has been barren for six years or for 10 years or 20 years you think it's one child that will come at once right. by the time god shifts that barrier you will be surprised the kind of testimonies that will surprise you you believe that a man that has been grounded by witchcraft for decades the only testimony he will get is a new job that gives him thirty thousand. when will he recover no that's not the kind of testimony that follows deliverance the kind of testimony that follows deliverance is a sign and a wonder God makes a statement that I can in delivering you restore the years the canker worm the palmer worm you should be married 20 years ago but then I move and give you triplets two times six children at once but upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance whatever it is and when that happens the sons of jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah so this brother is standing 
then he takes an aggressive step watch this and then his eyes is open in the spirit watch this and he sees a spirit appear to him and tell him you will never make it but the bible says behold i give you power so satan where did you even get the audacity to show up in my room remember your room is anointed remember there's a bottle of anointing oil in that room don't forget remember there's a communion set in that room are you getting what i'm saying remember while the demon is talking to you a bible is on your bed have you forgotten sometimes a worship song is even playing yet he shows up no invitation he didn't knock the door and talks nonsense to you and all of a sudden he leaves who will i tell this to i can't tell apostle because i am here i will keep quiet and that's how many of us have been keeping quiet as a man of god you finish preaching in a crusade and go back in the night and a spirit comes to molest you to even sleep with you you get up in the morning who will i tell this embarrassing thing and while you are sitting someone comes for counseling counseling number one man of god there is a demon that comes to sleep with me every night you almost want to run away because that's your own experience too it will shock you that you will lay hands on the person and he will start manifesting and be free and you just wave the person and then return back and say my god now oh god who will deliver me Ay 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 Ebeniza Ebeniza Ay 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 Ebeniza my pastor Hallelujah Please go and sit down guys let's talk now why why does it look like there is a an extreme difficulty for the saints to make manifest the realities remember the bible says he that did not spare his son are we bible students that he that did not spare his son but offered him up for us will he not with him freely freely mark the word freely give us how many things then the bible says that they that have received the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness what is their heritage they shall reign yet we do not see this thing happening that means something is wrong so deliverance is one of the mysteries that was allocated by the wisdom remember the bible says that it should be made to principalities and powers the manifold not one fold manifold the multifaceted wisdom of god deliverance is one of the expressions of the multifaceted wisdom of god so deliverance is concerned with experientially establishing and manifesting the victory and authority that we have in the christ rather than physically fighting for it let me tell you where this fighting mentality came from and of course the bible says we should fight the fight of faith and all of that but i mean this kind of fight have you seen people go to sleep and they tell you ah i i fought and this and in a dream you saw yourself fighting the victory was almost there are we together then somebody woke you you get up with anger and annoyance and say i was about to, to stab the last snake and you woke me what kind of you are you are a wicked person watch this and then you go back to sleep again and sometimes the battle continues it is because of the way spiritual things act themselves that we have believed that just because in a dream or in a vision are we together some of you even wake up from that encounter feeling physically exerted so because of that scenario of acting we now believe 
that warfare is about physically trying to fabricate victory regardless of what you see or the way the expressions come in the spirit the word of god remains true that christ has won the victory are you are you with me now that's where the confusion comes from and especially for those who work very strongly in the prophetic ministry they have helped in no way to amplify this com this co this confusion because what you see if not balanced with mental transformation and a good word base you will confuse people i can stand right now and make her stand and look at doctor in a vision and in that vision i can be seeing him inside a pit are we together and now i say doctor you are in a pit it's not a lie but that is just a prophetic symbolism to mean bondage are we together by the time i engage in whatever mystery the victory may show as him coming out from the pit so over many years of seeing different scenarios i may now write a book or i may now propose a theology are we together where people now start physically fighting to manifest their victory and this is why satan reigns over us because he's a master of the sense realm he knows that what you can see will challenge you let me ask you a question what happened to you last week with your night prayer are you not shocked at the level of attack that amplified you see that it happened for many of us right i told you it will happen because satan is the master of the sense realm you wake up in the night and sleep and go back and the same experience of them oppressing you supposedly happens again some of you as soon as you finish you went back in fact for some of you that activity has been on break since you you became on serious with god but now that you just started a little prayer all of a sudden it came now let me tell you satan will use your senses and tell you the word of god claims this if god were so powerful where is it then you will now dance to the realm of the senses and say kai that means let me go back to sleep in jesus name i must go back for the battle to come you are already defeated there's no possibility of victory under that condition in this kingdom the only instrument listen carefully the only the saints don't fight our warfare is the warfare of taking advantage of the forces of the spirit allocated to us the force of the word the force of the blood the name of jesus and all of these mysteries listen very carefully to enforce i repeat enforce if the purpose of your engaging those things is to create a physical fight you are defeated already the devil will eat you up and, and spit you watch this jesus is standing haven't walked on water to come peter says if it be thou listen carefully now bid me come and jesus says come peter gets up and started walking on water are we together now do you think while peter was walking on the water the water stopped being boisterous it still continued but it's just that because his focus was on jesus are we together that connection so the power that kept him on that water was not in his legs it was on the gaze of jesus are we together now the moment peter didn't stop walking on water he only shifted his gaze to somewhere else and his legs started going down for as long as his gaze was on jesus whatever the storm did now he's looking at jesus did not suddenly make the water quiet it was still boisterous but he was surprised that the water was not moving him the element for the victory was his connection with the eyes of jesus not his ability to walk well for as long as his legs remained but he turned his attention the bible said he saw that's what satan wants you to see satan is a master over the sense realm if he can deviate your focus to make you see the bulkiness of the challenges he will bring your faith down and strike you in a way that will affect you are we together god bless you thank you doctor we discussed access points last week that biblically speaking there are three main access points systems of authorization that satan uses that demons use all occults all 
spiritism and any kind of extra physical manifestation of evil thrives upon these three platforms number one covenants covenants we discussed it last week i'm just giving us a quick review number one covenants a covenant is the most powerful of the three because i told you that a covenant is a system of authorization and that system of authorization can go beyond an individual that's what makes it powerful my obedience may affect me alone are we together but a covenant can allow me to do something um look at this dr sean is here with his wife shade are we together if i ask doctor and i say sir i want to come to your house and he says no then i turn to his wife and say shade i want to come to your house and she says yes the covenant of marriage are we together if obeyed properly i have a right to come to that house and if he quarrels me and say i thought i didn't invite you i say no your wife who has also become one with you allowed me you see why covenants are powerful because when you see satan veto certain things about you and comes is because he knows someone else you are connected to has authorized him are you getting what i'm saying now the same way in Israel today, I am not aware of many Israelis who have come by themselves to call upon Jehovah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In fact, if you go to visit Israel, those who take Christians on a tour, the Jewish people are shocked that Christians are crying when they see some of these monuments. To them, it's tourism. They are waiting to be paid. And they see it just come. So this is the cave where my savior laid. And you kneel down. And the Jew there is in shock. What kind of people are these? You are being emotional. You go near the wailing wall. And you are crying and wailing for your sins. And choking prayer points at the wall. And the guy is waiting for you to finish. And just pay him his money. Yet in the midst of it. You try to kill that Israeli. And a covenant he's not aware of. Will arise and defend him. What kind of unfair thing is this? They farm on a mountain that should not grow. Yet there is something that makes the earth to increase to them. Remember that person doesn't believe in Jesus. Yet when God looks at them, he sees Abraham and sees the covenant. The most feared nation on earth. A little nation, but indestructible by a mystery that even themselves they cannot understand the rabbinical institutes have spent decades studying what is the secret behind the immunity of the nation of israel israel is my firstborn god has made a covenant with the firstborn the apple of his eyes that he will kill and slay any nation because of a covenant and it's an everlasting covenant that he has made So when your grandfather was draining the blood of a goat near fire, you were in the loins of prophecy. But then he was saying, look, protect us. And we contract this entire estate to you. Watch this. And then all of a sudden, like I said last week, some white missionaries from America just came. And they said, what are you guys doing? They say for 150 years we have been serving this shrine. They say, no, no, we bring you good news of glad tidings. Jesus has come. This is old. We present to you Jesus. And then you embrace the gospel of salvation and you felt that peace in your heart. You were happy. You were glad. I have received Jesus. Two weeks later, the missionaries started dying one by one. Remember, they are the ones who got you born again. And you were happy two weeks later your farm stopped producing as usual your peace was still in you you were happy and you loved Jesus then you decided to come together to pray and while you prayed and prayed and prayed you just found out that one of your child started running mad on the street listen brothers and sisters there are seven Gospels Jesus left with the church I'm not about to preach it now but the gospel of salvation is only one of them there is the gospel of the kingdom it is the gospel of the kingdom that reveals to you the keys of the kingdom they are not called the keys of salvation 
the is the gospel of the kingdom how you engage these mysteries to manifest that which is finished from the foundations of the earth i hate to be a bearer of bad news but it's just that many of us are not honest enough to look at our lives and look at our dear parents and look at our siblings one of our dear ladies she might be here i remember it was during was it during christmas or early new year this year her mother and and, and i'm sorry to just have to talk about it but her mother a godly woman was standing in church sir just like everybody wonderful woman of god in the presence of everybody looking at her in the house of god with the anointing of the spirit she fell down face forward in the presence of everybody and died right there prayer warriors came and prayed and prayed and prayed and nothing happened while that would happen her father paralyzed completely paralyzed completely in this place i'm not talking of another place when i heard that i said this is it this is it i must teach this this year this is it now do you know the family of that lady will almost beat you if you go to them with arrogance and say ladies and gentlemen look i don't know what you believe but that lady i think there are few people i know that pray like that lady in terms of consistency of the spiritual discipline of prayer what could be wrong what are we not seeing when jesus walked the earth it was not like that the invincibility of his victory was incontestable what is wrong with our understanding So covenant number two i taught us that the second access point is ignorance don't forget ignorance ignorance is a force in the spirit just like faith ignorance is a force it can cause things to happen in fact the bible calls a certain class of the demonic organogram rulers of darkness that means their domain of dominion is every time there is lack of illumination when they come to a life or they come to a physical territory where there is lack of spiritual illumination their dominion is activated they are called rulers of the darkness of this world not another world so they search for everywhere there is darkness in this world and that becomes their jurisdiction of authority archbishop benson idahosa was explaining the power of light and its ability to conquer darkness and he said that there was darkness in a land it was a story there was darkness in a land for many weeks and the people in that land went to the sun to complain s-u-n and they said son please help us there is darkness in our land and the son said you mean it darkness everywhere he said yes and then it the said the son said okay i'm coming to see the darkness and when the sun came there for three weeks and found out there was no darkness he said i've been you people are wasting my time i've been here for three weeks and i can't find the darkness and they said for as long as you are here the darkness cannot come so there is light the light shines the light shines notice the bible never says the light appears in darkness uh -uh. it is not the appearance of light that takes away darkness it is the shining it is the shining not just the appearance the light shines in darkness the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not are we together number three disobedience disobedience having the readiness to judge all obedience all disobedience when your obedience is complete disobedience authorizes the gates of darkness the gates of hell to prevail over the sins very quickly let's look at levels of satanic influences blessed be the name of the lord is god speaking to someone tonight
there are three main levels of satanic influences and that also includes the levels of satanic influences over the saints there is a dimension of satanic influence that cannot happen to you when you are in christ but there is a dimension of satanic influence that you can still be a victim of even though you are in christ let's look at it very quickly number one the first level of satanic influence and activity over mankind and creation is deception write it down deception the first level of spiritual attack over anyone at all is deception and this dimension can happen to both a believer and an unbeliever it was paul who was speaking um, um which of the church now help me it says galatia the church in galatia it says oh foolish galatians who has bewitched you he was talking to believers are we together the word bewitching there does not have to do with drinking blood and eating flesh to bewitch or witchcraft in this context means to cause a man to err using the tool of deception are we together so who has caused you to err by proposing a deceptive theology to you let's look at a few scriptures very quickly second peter chapter 2 we'll read verse 2 verse 12 and verse 13 if we can run through it very quickly second peter chapter 2 we'll, look, we'll read verse 2 verse 12 and 13 media please help us second peter chapter 2 and then we'll look at revelation chapter 12 and verse 9 the bible says and many shall follow their pernicious ways deceptive ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of the bible is talking of a kind of deception here are we together now i don't want to go into other uh, more modern version so that you see what pernicious there is but just know that he's speaking within the context of deception here go to verse 12 please 12 and then 13 it says but this paul is really i mean apostle peter here is really angry and he's using an expression that may even be considered offensive he said but this as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not speak evil of the things that they understand not it says and shall utterly perish in their own corruption that means that believers have been made to be deceived by the arrogance of bringing argument upon a doctrine you do not understand there are many people who would have been delivered but because they sat down under a preacher who believes in himself he's not being deceived took them away from the lights that would have blessed them the bible says they speak evil of the things that they do not understand there is a level of deception where you take people away from the truth in an attempt to save them just because you do not understand the relevance of that body of truth to the church and there are many of us men of god who are victims of this there are many believers who would not have been in the kind of spiritual situations that they are in except that they sat down under our tutelage and under our mentorship and we vented volumes of our ignorance to their minds that derailed them from the path they were already following to liberty they followed us away from their breakthrough let's look at the second revelation chapter 12 and verse 9 again media please help us very quickly we are still looking at deception three verses here i found just to explain the different kinds of deception this is talking about the great dragon revelation 12 and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceived how many the whole world so satan part of the system of establishing his dominion upon the earth and upon every territory is deception he deceived the whole world the bible says he was cast into where he was cast into where uh oh earth there's a problem 
the deceiver that deceives the whole world was thrown out of heaven unfortunately he landed here what do you think will happen here on earth deception so he comes to eve and manipulates eve comes to adam and says adam come let me tell you something did god really say that a b c d and adam said well he said we may freely eat of the fruit eve said this and that and that and then he said no there is something god is hiding from you god is hiding this i hope you know that satan never um satan never wanted i used to think satan wanted to replace god no no satan didn't want to replace god he wanted to run a parallel government i will be like not i will be the most high the god continue your throne sit there i will also say, i want to sit by your right hand now you understand what happened to man satan wanted to sit let's let's go since since the word eloha elohim it is plural add me to the godhead that's what he wanted i am i have done too much i hope you know i, I like oh dear i don't want to go into the pre adamite dispensation but i hope you know when you begin to read jeremiah chapter 4 i, I don't want to go there don't, don't don't go there media um for time's sake you you realize that satan was sent as a representative of the love of god to the then civilization and the then creation what jesus represents to our civilization was what lucifer the light bearer the custodian of the mysteries of the kingdom he was sent he didn't just deceive a third of the angels are you seeing how powerful his deception is a third of the angels that are in heaven where god is they fell for him talk more of you and then he deceived the kings of the earth and he was thrown down to ashes and the kings and the nations lamented they say you have become like one of us jeremiah chapter 4 when you read you who brought the nations the bible says he weakened the nation that was his sin it was not just pride there was something he made that made the nations weak and now he has become like one of us and he raised up a lamentation then you begin to compare with other scriptures that's what led to the darkness that was in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. The judgment that God declared upon that then civilization. Satan, the first occupant I told you of the garden of Eden was not Adam. It was Satan. That was in Eden, the garden of the Lord. So when Satan was watching God recreate the earth and then put men there, Satan said, okay, God finish and go. And let me come to the garden I'm used to. He knew where to found to find Eve. He never said, Eve, where are you? It's God that said, Adam, where are you? Satan always knows where to find them. I know where frail human beings can be found. Let me tell you, every man, even from Adam, was born with the tendency to sin. In iniquity, Jeremiah said, Did my mother? He never said in sin remember it's iniquity that produces sin iniquity is a state of the heart the propensity to be vulnerable towards a thing that's why he said um, subdue replenish he used the word subdue in other words be careful there is a stranger i don't want to tell you his story but don't be surprised if you find out you are not alone in this garden and then satan came you think he came to eve one day no he had been coming Ah, Eve, so you are here today. I said, don't disturb me. God is coming in the cool of the day. He said, okay, let's talk Eve. Satan's deception is so powerful. Remains small. He would have gotten Jesus. Read your Bible. <laughs> Satan for you. When Satan took Jesus up the mountain, he tempted it on, him on three things that, re, that represent the dimensions for spiritual growth. The first dimension was your personal need. That's where the temptation started from jesus you are hungry remember part of the supplies of the powers of heaven is to help you satisfy your personal need so satan i mean jesus don't watch stones like this when you are dying of hunger the power of god is able to turn stones into bread do it and jesus said no and satan found out okay i see you are so obsessed with your assignment you have left the realm of your individualism into kingdom next temptation let's talk about the issues now that concern the agenda of god 
why route it the hard way all the kings that are in these systems i deceive them and place them there they are my boys bow to me and let me just give you their heart instead of routing through the cross and all this pain are you seeing satan now he left jesus for a season he said i'm coming notice he never came directly to jesus again satan for you the next time we see satan coming he's coming to peter remember the goal is to jesus then the next time we see him again judas then the next time in jesus's weakness he now comes and manipulates his mind and jesus for the first time says father is it possible that you take this cup off me and jesus said no nevertheless nevertheless not my way if jesus prayed that prayer the father would have granted him yes because he always hears me jesus said it at the grave of lazarus i thank thee father because you always hear me i ha i had to pray this in open so that they will know i'm not my my open prayer is not an act of unbelief i'm saying it to minister to them i thank thee because you always hear me if jesus stopped at that prayer the father would have said well i cannot be a demon to usurp your will you have chosen to abort redemption so let it be and that would be it he still will be the word but there is no longer fruits of redemption he will still remain till today as the firstborn of the begotten but thank god he endured and he has now become not just the only begotten but the first begotten of the father we being the proceeds of that salvation and the bible says that we have now been called into glory and virtue are we together deception the third way deception can happen ephesians 5 verse 6 god we have to run we have to run at least let's let's just stop somewhere here and then we'll pray let no man deceive you with what help me so the third instrument of deception is vain words you can use words that may look very spiritual expressions theologies spiritual communications that because they are deep and because they are voluminous in context and play around with your mind they may be termed weighty just because of the nature of them the bible says let no man deceive you with vain words so who are the people that bring this kind of deception men satan uses men to bring vain words just because a thing is spiritual does not mean it is accurate i can bring something and communicate what we call deep mysteries and in the end of it you are bamboozed by my theological dissertation but there is no substance in it to bring you victory we have to be careful let no man deceive you with vain words for because of this cometh the wrath of god on the children of disobedience the first level of satanic influence and hear me brothers and sisters for as long as you are in this earth you stand a chance to be deceived there must be a groundedness in the world that immunes you from deception the cure for deception among other things is to be sound in the word are we together now that the word of god is able to establish you the bible declares that i commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise and then to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified so the word of god is able to give us wisdom wisdom number two the second level of satanic influence is called manipulation and control manipulation and control the first realm the realm of deception thrives on the strength of your senses you may want to write that satan plays around with your senses and the fact that you are human and that you process things through your five senses it becomes his advantage number two is manipulation and control this happens in the realm of the mind this is where strongholds are this is where all kinds of thoughts that are captive that keep men subject to the laws of satan like we shared in luke 22 give us luke 22 and verse 31 this was the encounter that jesus had with peter 
remember Luke 22 the Lord said to Simon watch this Simon remember was a disciple of Jesus although they had not experienced salvation in as much as we know but the fact that they were in close touch with the word of God alone should create some system of immunity yet Satan penetrated all of that and came again through Simon the chiefest of the apostles are we together he was forbidding Jesus that Jesus should not talk about death no Jesus don't talk about the cross and everything and Jesus was say, oh Simon you love me so much you are such a kind man Jesus looked at him and said no this is not kindness this is this is the devil wants to use he's taking advantage now watch this are you seeing how manipulation and control happens it takes advantage of an attribute within you that may even be godly and Satan can buy into it to become what you if you have compassion Satan can use compassion to deceive you if you have intelligence Satan can use your intelligence and overthrow you here he takes advantage of Peter's compassion Peter thought he was being sympathetic to Jesus Jesus you've done too much don't talk about death I'm going to miss you what does a good leader do oh I, I, you guys are all wicked people I'm talking of dying and none of you is crying Peter come I love you in fact when I when, when as I'm going to heaven you will receive my mantle for being discompassionate hear what Jesus says Jesus looks at Peter with the tears running from his eyes and says get thee behind me this is Jesus why didn't he look at the ground get no 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 he looks at Peter get thee behind me Simon Simon he said Satan had desired to do what have you that he may sift you as wheat next verse but i have prayed for you so what is one of the secrets that can help you overcome demonic manipulation is the ministry of prayer he said watch and pray that you do not fall into temptation because you can't judge it just by the seeing of the eye you need to sustain an intelligence and a capacity to discern between good and evil i have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not and when thou art converted he say use this same formula to strengthen your brethren that means intercede for them too because satan will come are you seeing why intercession is important in a church for the saints paul was praying that we we pray that that um, um prayers and supplications be offered for those in government for this and that that we may live a peaceable and a quiet life if you don't pray satan will sway people manipulation the realm of the mind now this is where it looks as though believers are possessed are we together because you see when you are i, I don't want to go into deliverance proper now that that's for series three are we together but you notice even here in koinonia and even you know right now as i've been talking you are seeing believers that you know love god but in the pro they themselves are shocked all of a sudden they start crying and talking things and saying things and you look at them and you say ah, but this person is a believer why is this person suddenly crying out and your spirit is leaving the person the physical manifestation of deliverance from whatever level looks the same it takes the eye of the spirit to know what is happening there so be careful so you don't blackmail believers and all of a sudden you see a mecca now standing and i touch his head and he's manifesting i say see, see this guy these, these, these are the snakes that are singing in, in koinonia no no that kind of talk is is ignorance and arrogance and even stupidity sometimes don't blackmail believers just because of this and again we prophets and apostles i think we must be warned in jesus name because we are the ones who advocate this confusion just because you look and see a snake you just stand up and the guy now gets up and he's angry he knows he's not a snake he knows he's not a fool he loves god with all his heart he's surprised that he was manifesting and he's ashamed and he he goes back stigmatized by others who felt they didn't fall so that means they are sound not knowing the acuteness of the problem that is sitting on your head are we together god bless you 
so the realm of the mind manipulation and control this is where satan sways our thoughts ah. it is manipulation and control is so powerful it will shock you to know that the greatest victims of this realm are believers not unbelievers unbelievers are so flexible the sincerity of their heart doesn't even it allows them to find truth it is believers that are quick to look at men of God Apostle Joshua Selman how can a young man like that have crowd like be careful Lord we are in the end times and you will think you are being sincere are we together now manipulation it is the devil that uses that realm to make somebody you love so much he now uses his face to you in a dream watch this somebody that loves you and is praying for you maybe your mother now appears and you go and say apostle prophet i saw my mother with a knife and he said i've been telling you for ages your mother is a witch and all of a sudden you carry axe and straight to your village and your mother said oh my dad don't tell me anything so you are the one behind my pain manipulation both the counselor and the counselee both of them are under the siege of manipulation and control Are we together now very important satan can manipulate you the moment he sees that you are get you are praying over a challenge in your life and he has seen that you have dedicated time to seek the lord he withdraws that challenge temporarily so that you will stop praying you will take you will take the withdrawal to be victory established then you will now say because he knows that you never see god until there is trouble so the moment there is a challenge and you set yourself to seek the Lord, you will see a temporary victory. And you say, ah, that's it. The dream has stopped. And so you continue in that low level and think you are safe. Whereas he's waiting for a time where you go so down that he can strike you in a way that will matter. Is God giving us intelligence tonight? Manipulation. Do you know brothers and sisters i look at my own life let me be honest with you i look at my own life i look at my background and brothers and sisters i'm shocked at how well meaning my life was and how satan prevailed over my mind with doctrines with theories with all kinds of things it's amazing sometimes i sit down and i listen to men of god sometimes i attend conferences and i see people and i see very well-meaning believers but i am afraid sometimes even very anointed i am surprised at how they are victims to the siege of manipulations the very context of their doctrine will tell you that they are under manipulation There are all kinds of manipulations if i get up today for instance as a man of god and i believe that every other church and every other ministry in zaria is wasting god's time except me that state is already a sign of progress in an attack are you getting what i'm saying if i believe that I'm the most anointed man of God in Zaria and that every other person especially our fathers our reverends here and there they are just talkatives wasting God's time the fact that I could accept that imagination why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing that I could conceive that vanity and agree in my heart and convince myself that that is the state is already a sign that I'm a victim of manipulation and control are you getting what I'm saying now dishonor to the body is a product of this kind of attack dishonor to constituted authority we are all men of God there's nothing you have that I don't have is a sign of this level of attack listen very carefully the pride that comes with the result of spirituality is a product of this you will not know Oh, I come and I say, look, I've, I've fasted for 40 days. Mr. Man, how long do you fast? He said, well, I managed to do two. Like, <laughs> love is like, this guy. Yeah, still, I pray that God will bring you up. Oh, I'm going to go and pray. And you think that just because you did that is a show of spirituality. It could be 
that the devil is already wasting such an energetic spiritual process that should bless you but it's been corrupted by allowing him to prevail over your mind then on the other hand you see people praying and fasting and you look at them and say look all you guys need you see you see wisdom is profitable to direct this prayer prayer is, is all nonsense you are just praying stupid that state too is another version of manipulation are you getting the point now yes the fact that you use financial prosperity only as the chief proof of the word of god working for you is big deception i'm repeating this thing again i believe in prosperity we've taught a lot on success systems but learn this i think the church of the lord jesus christ needs to be weaned away from the deception that prosperity alone is proof that things are going on well in your life in terms of financial abundance no remember that the harlot upon the horse that mystery babylon can enrich the kings of the earth she's a merchant she can make men rich so just because i'm adding spiritual value to you and you sow into my life and then you come and see me taking tea and bread you can mistaken the availability of a lot of tea and bread to mean that just because i have tea and bread my life is all right it's impossible for me to be under any kind of siege and i myself can be deceived because the moment i want to think about my life and a lot comes one million that means this thing is in place if it was not in place i mean where did the devil stop it from the bank let's be very careful a man's life does not constitute in the abundance of what he has i'm not against abundance now i hate poverty we all do as a ministry are we together but at the same time we must be careful there are many people whose lives are not all right just because they have a lot of money they just turn and look at other poor it's easy for a poor man to believe he's oppressed even if he's free he will not agree because the whiplash of the uh what call, the economic tide that is swaying him left and right even when he has been delivered there is still something that is obvious and real and truthful when someone does not eat it's easy that's why sociologists will tell us that religion is the opium of the masses it's a system to motivate masses to keep them in bondage are we together manipulation and control number three find somewhere to stop here tonight is complete possession that means complete possession of your spirit your soul your body the entirety of your tripartite nature can come under the subjection of darkness this is called possession the bible shows us people who were under that kind of thing mark chapter 5 the madman in gadara do you know why he was a madman in fact he was not even a madman we only call him mad simply because of the context of our civilization the goal of the demons was not to make him mad they were just too many in one person and so his activity looked like that of somebody who is insane the goal was not insanity how could you have a legion of demons and be all right based on men's context of civilization imagine the war this one is saying cut this stone and so he just remained and notice how restful he was the Bible says he will sit down in a cave quietly. They came over onto the other side of the sea, into the country of the gatherings. It's a long reading. We'll find somewhere to stop. Verse 2. Let's continue. And when he was come out of the ship, listen carefully, immediately there met out of the tombs a man with what? You see that was not a madman. It was just a man with too many unclean spirits a man with an unclean spirit verse 3 who had his dwellings among the tombs and no man could bind him no not with chains a man with flesh and blood yet metallic chains could not hold him because that he had often bound with fetters and chains and the chains had been plugged asunder by him 
and the fetters broken in pieces neither could any man tame him verse 5 okay and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stone six but when he saw jesus afar off he ran and worshiped him now you would think that worship is homage no this is satan at work deception this uh, let me tell you this when satan knows you will overpower him his next assignment becomes to agree with you so that he will conquer you remember in the book of acts these are the holy men of god they have come to preach the glad tidings of the kingdom so that the day paul goes will say since we can't see paul we know that you are allies in ministry and the deception will continue be careful when the devil starts fraternizing with you it's a sign to allow that comfort to keep you there so that you will be struck eventually but when he saw jesus he ran and worshipped him verse 6 and he cried out with a loud voice and said what have i to do with thee jesus thou son of the most high god i adjure thee by god satan speaking through a man i adjure thee by god that thou torment me not eight oh dear I'm sorry mark is not giving us the context i'm looking for anyway we'll read to verse 9 and just stop there one of the synoptics that talks about the legions i thought that was where it will lead us for he said unto him come out of the man thou unclean spirit mark gave us an epistle of one spirit but we know i think um ah okay mark leaves it there too and he asks him what is thy name identify yourself now there has been a debate about this i don't i will talk about it next week talking to demons talking back to you will address it don't worry trust me my name is joshua selman justice will be done adequately are we together now and he asked him what is thy name and he answered saying my name is is that a name my name is what legion suddenly he now changes from i to we we are many don't be deceived that only one person is speaking we are many multiple spirits can exist within the same entity strange so your human spirit is not the only one that can be in you another spirit many spirits legions we are many verse 10 and he besought him much that he would not send them away from the country this is another discussion how can demons beg and say okay apostle cast us out of here but let's not go outside of new extension we have been in new extension for a long time look at the level of organization that the demonic kingdom have they know that there is jurisdiction of their influence and saying if you take us out of that jurisdiction there is no basis for dominion so leave us within our prescribed territory we will leave the individual you are interested in but leave the territory this is a message that many of us need to learn so it can leave you but it's still around you waiting for a moment when you will grant access again jesus is the one teaching that when a demon leaves a man so demons can leave men let it not surprise you that demons leave men the bible says he goes through arid regions and not finding any place of habitation it will tell itself i will return back to my house you are born again he's still calling you his house you see how tenacious satan is my house and he comes and finds it swept clean but empty then it doesn't enter alone it gathers seven greater than itself Look at that system of coordination seven greater than itself and returns and they comfortably stay in you so that the end of that man is even worse don't miss the next part three of this i will be teaching you why many supposed deliverance is incomplete and i'll be teaching you the imbalance of forever continuous deliverance why is it that you keep casting out the same demon forever you know because this is I, i'm already going ahead of myself i want to solve that problem there are many well-meaning believers who teach 
that deliverance is an ongoing continuous and forever process in a way they are right and in a way they are wrong when i teach you the dimensions of deliverance we will see what deliverance is ongoing and what deliverance is wrong the deliverance of transformation because there is a dimension of deliverance called transformation it is an ongoing process christ being the standard on and the reference so in that way it is correct but deliverance like a continual exorcism casting away of spirit beings the fact that they continue finding expression is a sign that what that person needs is not just to cast the demons away are you getting me now all of that we're going to deal with next week we have to find a place to tie it today levels of satanic influence number one deception we're just doing a recap number two manipulation and control number three complete possession look up please of all these three levels the only one that the saints are by the default state of redemption immune from are we together is complete possession because he that is joined to Christ according to the authority of scripture is one spirit not two spirits living in one the same way a husband and a wife have become one are we together now you have become one it's a sharing together to understand that concept you have to understand an old Jewish practice called salt covenant uh, the salt covenant was a way of binding um, union between two people or two neighboring countries and they would use salt are we together you would bring your salt i will bring my salt and we'll pour it together in a vessel and mix it the condition for us to close that covenant is if everyone can pick his own salt out are we together so our redemption is in the similitude of that kind complete possession by the authority of scripture i do not believe that a believer can be completely possessed spirit soul and body although we generally call it possession simply because of the character of the manifestation are you getting where the error comes from now so like i said if i pray we're going to start praying shortly and many of you even as you are listening to me now will find out that you start manifesting and sometimes in the manifestation you will say things and do things that many times can look like you are possessed are we together and if you do not discern with understanding you may even deceive yourself to think you are possessed i've seen many people join the line after koinonia and then they ask me apostle am i a witch i said what is the meaning of that he said please i'm tired of everybody around saying i'm a witch even a witch listen carefully even a witch is not entirely possessed hmm. you see that that thing we call witch and wizards no There are spirit entities that are not human. Listen very carefully. I hope you know that human beings are not the only species of beings on earth. We know that, right? That there are other species. Make reference to my message, the, the seed, I think the seed and the woman also, are seven days prayer and fasting. I did a little teaching on that. That there are human beings on earth that are not pure humans salvation is not for them they cannot access the redemptive work of Jesus otherwise probably the angels would have re repented salvation is not for angels salvation is not for any other beings in fact in fact listen very carefully the scope of salvation starts as as far as the authority of scripture reveals to us starts from the Adam the man who originated our human civilization if you were before adam there was another system are we together it was not redemption through the blood of the eternal son of god because when according to apostle peter when jesus went to hell the ones he preached to were not those who were at the pre-adamites we know that by those who resurrected with him are we together now the bible says prophets of old that resurrected and walked the streets of jerusalem then having ascended to the father as the firstborn of the begotten to finish the substitutionary sacrifice there the atonement he now came and they all went together 
are we together now so we know that it is true that that uh, apostle peter lets us know that jesus preached the gospel to the departed saints in hell there because they were partakers but if you were not of adam that's why jesus is called the second adam so it starts from there there are other beings on earth that cannot be partakers of salvation but they are on earth satan has fraternized with them and he's still using them are you getting what i'm saying now so you can find some of these entities the fact that they are not of this earth does not mean that they cannot find expression in materials but material bodies and then you will also see them manifest in material bodies i'm not talking of entering a human being they themselves as an entity sustaining a body that is material but it's not a human being those are the kinds that we that's the classic proof of wizardry are we together now it's not just an individual who has been possessed there is a dimension of that but there are beings on earth that you see they are humanoid in their context but they are not human beings they are not progenitors from from adam salvation they can't receive salvation it is this kind that the bible says spare not a witch to live You will be blessed with a lot of balance um if there's something I, I want to reserve it till part three because as i just said that thing, many of you now are afraid okay so if they don't leave you are trying to say they die so what does that mean because many of you have seen ministries uh, respectfully great ministries like mountain of fire and all of that sometimes you see them say die and then you're now saying so what is it and men of god have laughed in sarcasm to mean spirits don't die we will find out how spirits die because spirits die <laughs> hmm. jesus the greatest strength of satan the one factor that makes satan look powerful over lives is one word the flesh write it down the flesh next or next week or whenever is the next time we'll take it we'll start from there the flesh i have to stop now no matter what level of deliverance you go through every other agency of demonic activity is dependent on the strength of the flesh to walk meaning you are truly not free when you are still alive to the flesh are we together now this is where the burden of laborious continual deliverance in in futility comes from an attempt to continue to cast out spirits cast out spirits cast out spirits and then the saints or the individuals that are now delivered continue to remain and dwell in the domain of the flesh let me tell you when you dwell in the domain of the flesh you will get to a point where the spirits on their own can go without being casted out and come because the gateway a stronghold has been created by your affinity to the flesh and that's why sometimes they mock we men of god before you say in jesus name they have gone and the person is happy i say eh, eh. to mean you are powerful and is waiting he knows so people continue receiving temporary results temporary breakthrough temporary deliverance temporary this but there is a way that god can grant us grace to establish victory once and for all that you win today and win tomorrow you stand strong today and stand strong tomorrow then you now will not be the person in need of deliverance you will carry this dimension because you will now you will know you are delivered because you are a possessor it remains with you are we together so now you can turn to others and begin to communicate the dimension of the life and the power that god has brought to you are we blessed rise up on your feet rise up please you reign you reign hello king you reign you reign Oh
Manchester Sing it as we enthrone His majesty over all the works of darkness. One minute we are going to pray just two prayer points i like you to lift up your voice and declare that in the name of jesus i'm walking in the experience of the victory the victory that the blood of jesus the victory that the blood of jesus the victory that the death of jesus the victory of his triumphant resurrection lift your voice and declare Never will it become a prophetic reality. It is becoming my experience. Victory over generational curses. Victory over yokes and bondages. Lord, I declare, Lord, I declare, complete victory over the works of darkness. Hallelujah. 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 I know that I've not, I've not taught it the next time we're doing deliverance and I'll be teaching you on all of the elements. But one of the mysteries that produce true deliverance is the mystery of the blood. Are we together? It's one of the three witnesses. The Bible says, and there are three witnesses that bear, three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. It says that there are three witnesses. This is where the problem is, the earth. It says the spirit, the water, and the blood. Are we together? The Bible guarantees us that the blood of Jesus speaketh. The blood of Jesus speaketh. That means you can cause the blood to advocate. The blood of Jesus is an advocate. There is the advocacy ministry of the blood. The same way Cain killed Abel. Abel the man had died but Abel the blood was speaking and he cried and God himself had to say no something is happening although the man had died but the blood is still speaking I'd like you to engage the blood and say in the name of Jesus I declare that I'm a partaker of the ministry of the blood I invoke the advocacy of the blood open your mouth and speak open your mouth and speak over every pattern, over every curse, over every yoke. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. When I see the blood upon your life, upon your family, when I see the blood upon every ordinance against you, I will pass over. When I see the blood upon the pronouncements in your family, I will pass over. Lift your voice and invoke the blood. We declare that the blood speaks. Declare the mystery of God's mercy. The blood speaks. We declare the priesthood of Jesus. 
that is after the order of Melchizedek higher than the Aaronic priesthood higher than the priesthood of Noah we declare in the name of Jesus Shabakato Sabarata the blood speaks the blood speaks over the ordinance of our fathers the blood speaks hallelujah hallelujah help that lady please the bible says listen carefully just help those under the anointing something is happening here the bible says we have been called out of every tribe out of every tongue remember i'll be sharing with you every other power on earth cannot walk without the sun the sun and the moon are the two elements that power every activity that happens on the earth that's why the psalmist said the sun shall not smite you the sun does not smite in itself but i can take advantage of the sun every activity demonically on earth without the when there was darkness upon the earth there was no demonic activity until light returned then satan now returned with his activity too when there was all through the period of darkness the only entity we see is the spirit of god we never hear of any demon jumping the moment the sun was withdrawn and the moon was withdrawn so the psalmist said the sun shall not smite thee by day not the moon by night witchcraft thrives only with the sun that's why jesus himself is called the son of righteousness that can arise with healings thou shall not be he said the sun shall not smite you that means for as long as there is sun and there is moon i can do something on earth that will tap the power of the sun to fight you that would tap the power of the sun to spare you away watch this hold on joseph goes to bed and has a dream and here's his dream i saw the sun i saw the moon and i saw 11 stars remember all of them are lights they are just different kinds of light bowing to me when jacob had this jacob said so me jacob called himself the son so i will bow and my wife who gets her glory from me like the moon from the sun and then your brothers who are also stars will bow to you jacob was worried the son bowing the sun can bow the moon can bow even the stars that have been sent to signify times and seasons can bow what is this power that can make the sun bow by next week i'll share with you how god delivered me you know i've been telling you what i went through but i've not shared with you how i came out this is what i want to share with you Kai. look let me tell you you don't know victory till you understand the mysteries of the spirit you will smash the gates of darkness he said he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. That you will walk through the enemy's camp and take your possession and lift it like this and turn to Satan and say, I dare you. I will show you a man who made the sun and the moon to obey him. I'm happy his name is called Joshua. Hi! Watch this. Watch this. Every time God wanted to bring redemption to men, He didn't just bless them. He did something to the sun and the moon to realign them to their advantage. Hezekiah was about to die. And when God turned his life, He said, As a sign, I will do something to the sun and move it a particular degree so that the power that would have killed you that has shifted the sun to that degree to allow it kill you will no longer be able to touch you joshua looked at the sun and said jericho 
is not an ordinary city they are fortified because they have done something even with the sun and the moon and he said son there is war about to be fought and because of that stand still it's not just because of light sun stand still moon hold your peace and all of a sudden Jericho suddenly became afraid the diviners in Jericho said this thing is not working again they said what happened they said someone has done something to the sun Jericho was close and they were afraid the, na the nation of Israel were not fighting they are they, the Bible said they were close none went out none entered they said we're in trouble the sun and the moon you will see why herbalists do all kinds of things and drop a mirror on the ground and use a sun and or the sun and make stupid enchantments and we laugh and say oh it doesn't matter and all of a sudden you will now see why the psalmist categorized evil according to what the sun does and the night there are arrows that fly only by day the what empowers them is the sun there is the destruction that wasted in noonday once it is 12 on the dot that destruction can start please be interested in what i'm sharing because this ministry that you enjoy is standing on the wings of these mysteries there is what can subdue causes yes it is the blood of jesus yes it is all of this but the dynamics of that operation brothers and sisters the powers that hold africa are powerful don't trivialize it jesus is above all i don't in any way demean the power of god if i did i would not be standing here if i did this koinonia will not be standing here if i'm faking what i tell you i will not open my mouth to declare this because that means i won't be able to sleep this night too Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand? still on that exercise of night prayers i know some of you have not been doing it don't do it as a ritual but i want you to receive grace to do it with understanding forget about what happens just do what i ask you to do it doesn't matter whether even if you are praying and a demon appears, don't worry you are about to see a dimension of the wisdom and the power of god conquer the realm of the flesh are we together we are going to receive grace to pray but I want to pray for you right now please just help anyone under the anointing just two minutes and then we are done in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I, my God I'm seeing a sword right now I declare every hold of darkness even in this series help them jesus look at what is happening there in the name of jesus you know my voice i was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of david by the mercies of god i declare right now in the name of jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus 
be free in the name of Jesus. Every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie. Shabakatoka sata. Embreketoka shabalakata. Reketoka tosh. Shabaskata sata. Rakato shabariata kata. In the name of Jesus. Fire. I'm seeing fire. That's what I'm seeing from heaven. Shabokotos kabariatata. Man takoto shagetegete. Embrekete loko sobarika. Maprakatos karia. I'm praying for you in the spirit. Sheketo koto shamana. Eketalia katabaria kata. In the name of Jesus. I cause the plague of witchcraft. I cause the plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Every voice speaking against everyone's destiny. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. The Bible says he nailed it to the cross. I declare and I decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the Father. I cause every power that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of Christ release. Help them, please. Everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit, God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams. Your children, your breakthrough, your lifting, your speed, your job, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you catch a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you, there are many of us who have lost things some you have lost time Masha Makata Lekotos Kabata Joshua said son go back move go back I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus I prophesy as one sent in the name that is above all names everything the devil took away from you I command a restoration now I command a restoration now Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Do you know why? Because when that pressure comes upon the righteous, the pressure will make them dip their hands in iniquity. I will share with you a mystery. It was the delay of the coming of the bridegroom that made the oil of five of the virgins to finish if the bridegroom came early all ten will be alive they all started alive but when there was delay five started going down
the Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. <laughs> just like a train, just pass like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen, we are going to pray now. And like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please, let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow One. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer are in Overflow One, the Overflow Outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in Overflow One, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at Overflow One outside. Now, listen. When there is no speed in your life, listen. Imagine that I have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and I'm tiptoeing on one leg. Am I moving? Yes, sir. But when will you arrive there? The pressure that you will mount on this leg, it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it. And so God, when he wanted Elijah to move, because he had already been delayed, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is, I'm ready to shift you. That within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years. It happened in three days. By the end of three days, Jesus had ascended, poured his blood, returned back. He was ready. It was now to launch the church. Big things don't have to take plenty time. When the hand of God comes upon you, you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. I want to pray. I will do the praying. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus. Let that anointing right now. I shift man. Speed. Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay. Be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Shakatoka tabarakata. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. Shabakatoka prahasagate. 
speed speed in the name of Jesus I command everything that has refused to move in your life I move it by the power of the Holy Ghost I'm still praying I'm still praying the Holy Ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please I'm praying For some of you now is the same prayer but it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 Speed, Papa Rakoto Shegeta, Epre Kete 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 Kete. I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. Shapa Kato Katabala Katosh. No more delay. I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it, I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the Lord is shifting you that lady in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of Jesus now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this 
reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen i command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of jesus i crush satan i crush his works inside outside i command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as i come close to you that fire there is a judgment let them go now i'm coming this way right now in the name of jesus the power of god is coming this area this direction let them go now release them i come by the anointing of the holy ghost let them go now let them go now release them i'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach release them now let them go in the name of jesus let them go now by the power of the holy ghost i stretch my hands here right now the fire of god is setting people free now lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them now lose them lose them in the name of jesus lose them now those outside lift your hands god is about to set you free please i like you to pray everyone pray enough is enough tonight everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of jesus hear me the lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as i pass here i don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now i stretch my hands right right now it's over over now let them go 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 now the spirit of sorcery i cause it now the spirit of witchcraft i cause it now please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves go go be free i command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here i want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be 
free now. I command those devils. Go, 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 go. Kapaka toketaka. Let them go, go. Go now. Release them. Release them. Release them. Every covenant. Release them. I break that power now. Now, now, now. Be broken. Kapaka tosa. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two, let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare. I decree and I declare. You are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow three, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Shekete, shekete, shekete. Every power, bring them out. Maka pos kapaka tos. Ekreke teke teka pakata. Shepaka tosa. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. Ala pakato shkete kete 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 kete. Shakete kete. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains. Be broken now. 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 Chains be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three. Lift your hands. I'm still praying. Listen. I'm seeing. I'm seeing patterns something that is not just happening to you alone happening to your father your mother as soon as i pray now i'm seeing fire all over this place anyone under that case you must be free now at the count of three anyone holding any pattern any generational thing in the name that is above all names at the count of three one two three shout jesus Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me I'm coming back, but I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder, but that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen, but a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you or something will happen. Right now at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. 
Shakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you, I speak as one send. At the count of three, let them go. One, two, three, go, 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 let them go. Lose your hold over their lives. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. I'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet, but the Lord is showing me the number 12 and the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shagatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shabrakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the Spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here. Entering that ministry of signs and wonders, signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and I stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what God is doing main auditorium I'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of Jesus fire will come upon your hands I'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive I decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen I'm seeing oh my god the Lord is opening my eyes here I'm I'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house I'm not saying you're a bad person please I'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three or oh, 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 here Please, who is that person? Come. I want to break that thing now from your life. Please, quickly. Please, make sure you hear what I say before you come. Just let, make way for them. Mm. The power of witchcraft. Young man. You're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now. Huh? It will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder. Or let that anointing come upon him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus. I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus
Hallelujah. I'm praying. Listen. I stretch my hands towards you and I speak. I don't know what it is that you have been involved in. But in Jesus' name, I'm stretching my hands. Why am I seeing fire leaving my hands? Who is it looking for? In the name of Jesus Christ. I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Out. Out. Now. Now. This lady wearing a red hair tie. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a grace that is coming. Let that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that anointing come upon you. Hallelujah. Overflow three. I'm seen by the spirit the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already I'm going to pray listen except God has not sent me as I'm praying some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you and God is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact I see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change. Two weeks from now, it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life. I decree and I declare it over your life. I stand by the anointing and I pray for you. Father, according to your word, within two weeks, turn this lady's life around. Supernaturally. In the name of Jesus. Emeka. Who is Emeka? Emeka. I'm hearing a name, Emeka. Overflow three here. I'm just talking to overflow three people. Emeka, Emeka, please quickly, please quickly, don't waste that time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray. What do you do? 
I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place. You came for NYC. I want to pray. Lift your hands. Because I'm seeing, look at me. The Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment to end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever. Overflow 3, I'm still praying. The spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people. I will count four at the fourth count. One, two, three. Where are they, oh God? Four. Nine people. Nine people. The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. All of you open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything you desire. Overflow three. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. 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 Be broken now. Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now, I decree. Overflow. Two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel Maroon Kaftan. Is there someone like that? What's your name? Do I know you? Lift your hands, my brother. God is about to change your life. God is about to turn your life around. Uh, where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. You love Jesus? What is... Is it Oleku or Aleku? What is that? Huh? Huh? Where are you from? Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you, come quickly. Please. Low, low, low like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, what do you do, my friend? You're a student, you love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on husband and wife. Yes, please, well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. 
that means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So, my friend, you love God, eh? But you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, no, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look, what I see, my friend, I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us. Because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends. They make you compromise your values. It's not your fault. But when they come, they are vocal about what they believe. And because you do not have a community of like-minded believers. But let me tell you the truth. It matters who you listen to. If the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of Ahitophel, God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady. Come. I'm looking at you. I'm seeing a young lady, but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back. See, wickedness is real. Oh. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, wickedness is real. Huh? This is a young, beautiful lady. You see her standing, but you now look at it. Do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married I would now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh, you do you know what it means to be a witch? <laughs> so uh, God is you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help, but it doesn't mean imagine that I look at this lady now and say, My dear, you're a witch. No. This is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. It takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways? Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here, you find out for instance, the moment you enter a relationship, come for instance, as you mean... I enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business but just because I married this lady, I start going down. And now you meet a man of God and if, the man, if you're in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, Ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um... What I'm trying to say is that, oh, there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands. But it doesn't mean she's bad. A good man of God will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word, now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple. Because a body without a spirit is dead. So it's not about condemning and destroying the body. Are you getting it now? So my dear, let me tell you, you're a wonderful lady. Huh? we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bring, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you are a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands I decree and declare ah. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of Jesus I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free. 
and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State, now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you, even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus, the power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke. Complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but... I you please come Hi. this is your first time coming I need to pray for you what do you do ma uh, you are jobless ma huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you. I give you three weeks, 21 days, ma. Your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you. I lay my hands right now and I declare, I'm seeing chains leaving you. I command those chains to go. Father, turn her life around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit every planting that is not of god i uproot it now i uproot it now i uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest? I'm, I'm, I serve, my father served and died. And, and, Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives even the lawful captives my brothers and my sisters you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service this this woman come madam you yes come please quickly come we're out of time say in jesus name say it in jesus name my life is about to change say it again say in jesus name reproach is leaving me now in the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name, sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man, but I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you, your dad, your father is a priest currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now. Everything they have given you to drink and eat, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone now. Out! Let it leave her. I'm seeing...
that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus Kai, jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god her father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now huh? in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this this because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i take away distraction i take away distraction I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. my dear come this lady waving your hands come quickly your life is about to change come where are you coming from you are coming from abuja yes, i'm here with my husband husband yeah. where are you sir let's clap for the husband <laughs> two of you came from abuja last time you came with for som came. i can't remember you came with you oh your son was a graduate of som no we came with him oh okay so I'm a graduate I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God, but at the same time, I do business. But it's not sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, 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 oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head and if i don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir? are you new here by elsa by elsa hmm. all the way i think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir my pastor you're a pastor you're in ministry both of you 
evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate. Evangelist. But both of you came from yes, Bielsa. Came you are an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes, sir. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio. And then oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine, sir. I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody, it's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare, your life turns around from today. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness, 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 goodness. Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus. Be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus. You go and write your test. Bring back your results. Go. Listen. I, can we? You see how sometimes this thing, we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal. Maybe I will just pray. I will just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean 
I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly, please. Lay your hands now. I want to pray. Jesus. A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me, everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare right now. Those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. I'm, I'm praying now. Every spirit of infirmity, please make sure you are hearing me, overflow one, two, three. Every spirit of infirmity, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I curse you now. I curse you now. Say amen. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Be healed, my God. The power of God is touching people already. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three by the roadside. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now I command every blood condition. Be healed from it now in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer. The Lord is healing ulcer right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lumps. All kinds of lumps. Multiple lumps. I command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a number of people having um hepatitis the lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the holy ghost eye conditions in the name of jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands 
be healed right now in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of Jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether I mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you I stretch my hands and I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before I started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you are healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, hold on, just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can you, you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes, and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about it in 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes also you mentioned also how long yes okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, no biologically biologically where yeah. are you from i'm from each but i got i mean i'm from state of there's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? 
Who are you staying with? My mom and mother, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? Father, help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now and I declare be free in Jesus' also, name. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, God but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the the lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes, it's gone completely. Give Jesus three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? Seven. 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow too. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain. That back pain. Had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today. They asked you to ride a gone. horse? Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't listen. She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for Koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering, where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then... Don't worry, do your horse thing, eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected. In Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spoke unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating. That resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain? Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But Don't the pain believe is that thing, oh. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell 
In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's the heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her and watch what happens in your life. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic ill. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, goes to hell forever. She also had ulcer, but she also had kidney inflammation. She used to feel a sharp pain. She's been healed of the ulcer. Now, when she presses the place before press she it. would feel, press it. Press it. Any pain? No pain. Gone completely. No. Come on, Koinonia. May God forgive you. May God... You people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that... God bless you. He had a sharp pain in his left side okay. you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slump like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil would just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir now. yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ he's had back pain for a long time he's healed now back pain you see god is when there are messages behind miracles you see that god is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation it's not just the bones are what give structures to a person doctors tell us that means that by this miracle god is speaking through it right like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back it took the bones to come back for an army to rise therefore i'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain 2014 and now he's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah. <laughs> it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing on, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through but as you mentioned it it's gone the now buzzing what's your name sir hear. since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left ear give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. The longest How long? Finger. Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. 
And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, as she came for the testimony, the menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell Amen. and never come to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. When you, it's not that God saves them. It's how he saves them. That is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 his... Let me study your IRK. Or what, he was studying something like that. And then, all of a sudden, he just... I mean, koinonia just disappeared. And he saw a vision of heaven outside, overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago, the gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place. As soon as I climbed here, all that the guy saw was, I hope he's still in Christ. But as far as, <laughs> yes, the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power. And so when he was here and saw power, he said, ah, there's power here. Whether it's demonic power, Oh, God's power, there's really power here. In the name of Jesus, there is grace that saves men. We declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had witness who was ill. When we take the last person, that would be also that we can... Yes, in overflow three, witness overflow three. the pain. So as you went outside and you ministered, ah, she fell under God the power God visited Overflow 3 today. Oh, this miracle service was for Overflow 3. As she fell under the power, she stood up perfectly whole. Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please. Go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed... Come, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes here. Her body is even hot. You can see that her body she is... Came ill, cough, she came. but everything is... In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes, he was healed. But yesterday, the symptoms came back. But right now, he has been permanently. Healed. What was the issue, sir? Back pain. Back pain. Come. You see that? You see the, the thing again? I'm telling you, miracles are messages in Jesus' name. Back pain goes and goes forever. Yes, she's please. had serious qatar since 2010 that lasted for three years. Is it that qatar and came back again? But right now she's completely healed. Completely healed. Put your hand on your chest, Lord Jesus. Let this lady be perfected now, perfected forever. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost, forever healed, forever perfected. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's bringing restoration restoration to your life in Jesus now name. he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there yes while he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number because one because God will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ECG scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs but while he stood here, the pains disappeared. The heaviness left. Hypertension, back to sender. Back to the devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Her grandfather died of this ulcer pain. Her father has it. Her sister has it. And then she's also seeing the symptoms. But tonight, when the case was mentioned, she was completely healed. You see... This, these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person. Grandfather died of it. You said father has it. Father has it. Mother, sister has, sister has it. it. Yes. Aunties. Huh? Yes. Everybody has it. Most of my aunties. My, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like where are you from? I'm from Delta State. Delta State. In the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I cancel this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you mentioned name. back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold my hands in the name of jesus look at me look at me shout jesus 
Jesus. Yes, she had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Usher, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful, okay? She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus stand. praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still... He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now as you mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God, we declare perfection for your body now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I want you to stretch. I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request. Stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost Embra po shoto prete kete e karo sakatosh kalabos en taro segete kete kete. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this request. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let impossible situations. Please make sure everybody's request is here. Let impossible situations go. Please agree by faith as you pray. We are laying our hands on this request. In the name of Jesus, Jacos Kaprakato Shadebakata, Embrekete Koto Shabragados. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is a representation of the faith of your people. You are the God that answers prayers. I ask, oh God, that you arise. Arise in power, arise in majesty, arise in grace. In the name of Jesus. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Hallelujah. I stand upon this request prophetically. And I agree with you. For some of you, the things you have written here, the truth is that only God can do them. There's no man born of a woman that can do it. In fact, if you read some of the things for us, even us who God has helped will have to doubt and say, ah, but thank God that the request is unto God. Father, we present before you this request. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies. They are supernaturally turned to testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand if you can. And receive the last prophecy and impartation. I will continue to speak over your life. And I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until, until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said. Therefore, please, I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit. There is a lady you have been seeing. You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams. This is almost all most of your dreams. That's all. You are breastfeeding children. You are carrying children. You are with babies. In the name of Jesus. Every fraternity. Every fraternity with the gate of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for those people first. I command that devil to leave you now, once and for all. Once and for all. Hallelujah. 
I'm praying for someone else. I don't know why God is interrupting me now. There is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you. I'm saying once you go to bed, somebody must come to molest you. Whether it's a man, whether it's a woman, whether it's an animal, that must happen to you. You get up and physical things begin to be misplaced. I'm praying right now. Shaka for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of jesus now i pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you i pray for you i stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names i prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore i speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of jesus now i speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic i shift you to the next level of your life please believe it i shift you to the next level of your life For all those in business here and you're trusting God to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must show up between now and october miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by god i pray for you and i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ listen every family here that is saying lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives i'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barring or you are connected to anyone you know trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus we release their miracle children now i'm praying for anyone here trusting god for a job you are trusting god for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting god for a job in the name of jesus i agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now i want you to say amen to this prayer that i want to pray for you the problem 
that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of Jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison I pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of Jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now I agree with you whether I uniquely mention your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands and I agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony hallelujah Lord in this month of October I'm not I'm, I'm the one asking for you father a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen this has nothing to do with what you are doing on I'm praying for you in the name that is above all names I pray for you may my God bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally I pray for you I don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that God brings you into for some of you God has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of God for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe God for impossible things it doesn't matter what category I stretch my hands and I declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire I stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of Jesus Christ let it come upon you right now I'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in Jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you I decree and declare the blessing that is upon Nigeria the grace that has made Nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact 
if Nigeria is not dead after 58 years I forbid death from your life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you are here and you are saying apostle I need Jesus you heard the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of Jesus listen carefully I know we are trying to settle down in the name of Jesus that lady I cause the spirit that that lady you are with I command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirit these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits in the name of jesus christ i said this lady hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin